Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to serve Folium maps from a Python Flask server. Folium is a Python library to create interactive maps in Python. And Flask is a web development library where you can create servers in Python. If you don't know about what Flask or Folium is in Python, I've already created playlists on those and I will leave the link of those playlists in the description. Generally using Folium, you can create an output which is a HTML file. But in this video, we're going to talk about how to serve a Folium map from a Flask web server. So the output can be something like this, where you serve normal HTML page from your Flask web server, but in that a Folium map would also be a component. To understand how to make this possible, let's try to create a HTML file from Folium and see what is required to render a Folium map. So I'm going to take a blank folder and I'm going to open it with VS Code. Let's create a new file and let's name it index.py. Let's create a simple folium map and let's try to render that as a HTML file. So you just import folium, create a map object and just save it as a HTML file. So let's try to run this so that we'll get an output.html file as written in line 8 and as expected we got output.html file. Let's try to open this output.html file and as expected you got a folium map in a HTML file. Now let's try to right click and view page source and see what's there in the HTML file. You have a lot of script tags and style tags which actually link to the leaflet.js library. And then you have a body tag in HTML where you use a div as a container to hold your folium map. And then you have a script tag where you write the JavaScript to actually initialize and render your map. So to embed a folium map in a web page, you need all these libraries to be linked in the HTML head tag and you need some JavaScript to actually initialize and set up the map and you need a div tag to act as a container to hold the map. So these components are required to render a folium map in HTML page. So for now we have just generated a HTML page but I want to generate this map in a Flask web page. So first let's try to create a Flask web server. So this is a really simple Flask web application where I have created an instance of a Flask web application, created a route which listens at the root URL and we are making the server to run at localhost port 5000. So let's try to run this application and if you open it in browser, you should get hello world. So I'm going to localhost 5000 and I got hello world. All right, our web server is ready, but now instead of returning hello world, let's try to render some HTML content. So now I did a small change while returning the content from the route. Instead of returning hello world, I am returning HTML content. So this is a simple HTML page. I am returning a head tag, a body tag and in that I have a script tag and I am returning a simple heading which says embed folia map in HTML page. So let's try to save this and run this web server. And now let's go to localhost 1500. And here you can see a heading tag which says embed folia map in a HTML page. All right. Now we are ready to embed our map in this HTML page actually. First let's try to create a map object. I have imported folium and I have created a map object using folium.map and just for the demo I have added a marker to this map object using folium.marker and add to map object. And now I have to render this map object. You can do that using map object.getroot.render. And now since our map object is ready, we are now ready to embed this map object in your HTML. You know you have to place some style and script tags in your HTML head. So for that you can write map object dot get root dot header dot render. This will return all the style and script tags that are to be placed in the head tag of the output HTML file. So use this header variable and then just render it here. Since we are using Jinja HTML you can just write header here. But one more catch here is that by default Jinja for safety doesn't allow HTML tags to be rendered for safety. So for that you need to say safe. That means you are instructing Jinja that it's okay to render HTML from a Python variable. So here I have derived the script and style tags that are to be placed in the header using this map object.getroot.header.render and I'm placing this inside the head tag of the output HTML. And one more issue here is that it's a raw string. It's not a Jinja render template. So for that, you need to import something called render template string. And now you have to render this template string in the return statement. So you got to write render template string. And this is a string. And here you need to supply this variable called header to this template string. So that can be done using this 
second argument header equal to the header so now you have a variable ready to be substituted in your Jinja HTML and here in the body you need to place a container where the map will be placed right for example in this output.html you have a div tag where the map will be placed to derive that div tag you can just write map object.getRoot.html.render so this will get all the text that should be rendered inside the HTML body so I'm going to copy this variable body HTML and again render it in our body tag and I need to say that it's safe to be rendered and now I need to supply this variable to the Jinja right so copy this and write as a next argument body HTML equal to body HTML now we have rendered the map container and the next thing which is left is that the JavaScript for initializing and setting up the map that can be seen in the script tag of the body from a folium output.html file this JavaScript can be rendered using map object.getRoot.script.render so use the script variable to be placed inside your HTML files script tag so I'm gonna render this script and I'm gonna say it's safe and supply the script variable to the Jinja template so I'm gonna write script equal to script so that's it we have three components to be rendered in our output HTML which is the header the body HTML and the script and just to demonstrate that we have embedded a folio map in a web page let's try to create another h3 tag inside this web page so that you have a map between a h1 tag and a h3 tag and you have the script rendered here all right that's it just by using three variables the header body html and script you are able to embed a folio map in your existing flask web page so let's try to save this server and run this and let's try to reload our page and here you have your h1 tag and your h3 tag and in between you have a folio map which is rendered from a flask web server let's try to reload the page again and still you got the page let's try to view the page source now and here you have all your required script tags and the style sheets etc in your html head and your div which acts as a container for your folium map and then the script to initialize and set up the folium map using javascript so this way using the map components you can actually embed them in your existing html file and render folium maps in your flask web server and since your folium map is actually embedded in your web page you can even write javascript to actually interact with the folium map so that's it guys this is how you can embed a folium map in a flask web server but there is one more way to render a folium map in a flask web server that is using iframe so in this approach you will render the folium map as an iframe inside the web page that means the components of the web page cannot interact with the folium map but the map will be rendered as an iframe so how to do that it's really simple you can remove all these three variables and create a new variable called iframe which is map.getRoot.representHTML so this is the HTML that actually embeds an iframe in your web page so you can remove your embeddings from your header and the body and the script and you can even remove the script tag you can remove the head tag also if you don't require and inside the body just embed the iframe and let's try to supply the iframe to the template iframe equal to iframe that's all you create a variable called iframe which is map.getRoot.representHTML and embed that iframe in your body and obviously you need to mark it as safe all right let's try to run our server now let's try to reload the web page and actually you wouldn't see a lot of difference but let's try to view the page source now and you can see there is a long line here which has the iframe let's try to wrap long lines here and here you can see you have the h1 tag and a huge div which actually has the iframe and this iframe has all the html required to render the map and then you have your h3 tag so you can even use iframes to easily embed folio maps in your html pages of the flask web server but the downside may be your web page can't interact with the folio map using javascript so that's it guys this is how you can embed a folio map inside a flask web server web page using the different components of a map object you can see i have created a blog post on rendering folio maps in a python flask web server i have also given you the notes and the source code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer I've also given you the links to the official documentation so that you can do further reading. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comments section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching.
Peace.